Oh, oh this is cool. One isn't of my favourite roads. And then you got first gear corner. First? First. <laughs> Bloody hell, <laughs> this is epic. Where are we? Bloody France. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today you join me with Yes, the Toyota GR Yaris. I must be the last person on earth to actually get up close and personal with one of these things and as a result, make a YouTube video on one. Today, very excitingly, is gonna be my first ever drive of the GR Yaris, as this car is owned by a good friend of mine and fellow YouTuber, Johnny, from the channel JBCTR. Now, if you have been subscribed to my channel for years, first of all, thank you, <laughs> but you also may remember that we have done some bits before with Johnny, I believe with his last car, the Mark 8 Fiesta ST. Um, this is, of course, the direct replacement of that, his new GR Yaris. He's done some, some, some slight bits to it already. The car is only just run in, and he hasn't had it for very long, so the car is pretty much stock, but still, I am very, very excited to get behind the wheel of this thing because I mean there's been so much hype around this car so many different youtubers uh, and people around the world have invested in one of these and so I am dying to get behind the wheel of it so I think without further hesitation we'll introduce you to Johnny we'll have a walk around the car show you some of the bits which he has done to it already before we go out for a nice little first drive in the GR Yaris So we're now joined with Johnny. Mate, first of all, it's good to catch up because it it's is. been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I said in the intro that I think the last time we met up was when you had your Fiesta ST. It was, yeah. I'd uh, was... actually just done the Revo kit on it when yeah, you took true. it out and it was a very wet day. It so, was, uh, yeah. I was a little bit embarrassed because <laughs> I could get the power down. <laughs> it is kind of, well, threatening to rain at the moment. Anyway, typical April showers, but yeah. GR Yaris, the new car. Indeed, yeah. Um, it's a bit of an upgrade, I think. I was going to say, it kind of feels like natural for progression. Um, yeah. Very similar power to my modified Mark 8 Fiesta, mm. um, but obviously this has the addition of four-wheel drive. True. So uh, yeah. And homologation. Indeed, <laughs> everyone loves homologation. So yeah, very true. Well, it's a bit of a, like we were saying on camera, it's a bit of an unknown and unique car in that sense. It's a bit, it's an odd one. So everyone on the internet yeah. seems to know these and love them. And actually a few people hate them, strangely. Mm. Um, but in the real world, Nobody seems to know what it is. Mm. Um, I find myself getting tailgated way more than I did in the Fiesta, which is <laughs> a little bit odd. Um, <laughs> but, but actually, yeah, it's, it's quite nice being in a, a stealth mobile. It's mm. kind of like, if you know, you know. Yeah, very true, very true. Because <laughs> if you say to someone who doesn't like cars, saying, oh, I drive a Yaris, you think, okay, great. Yeah, that's but kind of... this is the most un-Yaris Yaris that you can possibly get. Indeed, I mean... I think it's literally just the headlights, tail lights, and maybe yeah. the antenna for the radio. It honestly wouldn't Yaris. surprise me. I mean, so just having a quick walk around this thing. It is it's very menacing, especially in this color as well. You've yeah. gone for the circuit pack, I believe. I That's it, yeah, circuit pack. So that is uh, Torsen diffs front and rear. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the upgraded lighter alloys, uh, which I moaned about in one of my videos. They're, insane cost so, yes um, that's the reason why it's parked so far from the curb <laughs> taxi to the curb <laughs> crikey <laughs> well actually like you said you've got your own channel as well which um, yes. probably some people watching will already be aware of but if you don't and you want to see more gr yaris content not that there isn't enough out there already <laughs> then uh, then go and check out johnny's channel there'll be a link down in the description um but a bit about the yaris 1.6 liter i believe it is three cylinder 1.6 three yep. cylinder the most powerful production three cylinder cylinder in existence at the moment. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, That's interesting. So you're saying 260 odd horsepower? Yeah, 257, 257 I think is the official figure. To be honest, so. that's not that bad. Like, cons comparing this to like most hot hatches, which are two litre four cylinder and running about 300, yep. it's not actually that bad. I mean, it's pretty powerful and considering it only weighs 1280 kilos, I think oh, wow. it is. Yeah. So if you get power to weight and all that kind of stuff, it's uh, 
pretty competitive with Definitely. some of the some of the bigger hot hatches shall yeah. we say um now certain aspects of this car is well interesting <laughs> i think first of all the size of the rear arches yes we're gonna point that out yeah because i mean they're pretty monstrous they're huge absolutely huge i think it's a good looking car I, really good looking car i actually as an owner i can say this and it's controversial i think it depends on the angle Okay. So the front of the car with the massive intercooler, mm. and you can see these arches from the front as well because they are that wide. You can see them um, from the moon. <laughs> I think that it looks great. Um, I think the rear looks better with an aftermarket exhaust as it's got slightly larger yep. tips. Um, but otherwise, I think it's missing something. Maybe okay. the WRC wing that should be there. Oh, the massive but, one like that goes from like here. Yeah, the crazy massive one. But You should do that. <laughs> do but then the other side of it is like, is that too much for the road? So mm, true. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, the jury's out on the back for me yeah. anyway. To be fair, I mean, when you've got these massive arches, you do kind of have this massive area here. I mean, look, I'm reflecting off it. Like it's just a flat panel, isn't it? <laughs> on either side. I suppose that, well, maybe there's not really much you can do with it. Yeah, maybe like a little vent. It depends on what's behind it. Maybe a nice little fake vent. Yeah, we love something a like vent. that. So stick on one. They Talk look. about fake things. <laughs> the, the roof, the carbon roof. Now this is a, obviously like a carbon wrap from factory. It is. But it is actually carbon underneath, isn't it? Yeah, so it's fake real carbon, I think. <laughs> it's a, I think they did this as a sort of cost saving measure. Mm. So because homologation, yeah. um, the, the rules state that the rally car must be made of the same materials as the road car. And obviously the cheapest way to get a carbon fiber roof on the road yeah. car is to not protect the carbon and just put a wrap over it. Yeah. So I think this was kind of a cost saving measure, um, but those who have unwrapped this and then reprotected it with lacquer yeah. or PPF or something like that, I think it looks spectacular. <laughs> like we were saying in the intro as well, um, you haven't had the car long and the only thing you've done, I think is probably the most important thing to do one of these um, in the form of an exhaust. Yes. Um, these things don't really sound like much from standard. Uh, sound I nothing it? actually. Yeah. I, it's one of those, I wanted to get in it and feel like it was an occasion when I was driving it. Mm. Um, and when I bought it home, I'd start up in the garage and just be like, oh. Um, <laughs> Turned and actually, on the blower. <laughs> well, I would say that when the, when the windows are closed and you're driving it, the fake sound pumps yeah. into the cabin is actually quite good. Okay. It's, it's quite engaging. Mm. But when you put the window down, there's nothing. There's nothing, yeah. So the aftermarket exhaust, I think, was a real... Mm. real worth doing and this is um, a miltech system isn't it it's a miltech system uh, from the gpf back yep. so the stock cat and gpf are still in place okay yep um in terms of fitting i think toyota kind of designed it to be changed okay yeah uh, so they put a flange straight after the gpf oh, okay so Andy. to fit the exhaust was literally three hangers two bolts and it drops off Done. um and if you want to put it back to stock the old one just yeah. bolts back in so mm. well worth doing i think yeah. definitely Brilliant. Well, I think that's pretty much everything. Bit of a run around the car. I'm very excited to get behind the wheel of it. So Indeed. thank you again for, for making today possible. That's all right. I think what we'll do, we'll hit the road and we'll go have some fun. Sounds good. Let's do it. When you're in gear, it just seems to go. <laughs> and then you end up driving like a pass. <laughs> it's really like... Oh, it's fun actually. It's pretty intoxicating. It is. The, he the steering's very heavy as well. That's one thing which I've noticed firsthand, which is quite nice actually. Yeah, it I think... It feels like you're a bit connected. So the biggest thing I like about this car is it's got obviously two limited slip diffs. When they put a limited slip diff in the Fiesta, it made it a little bit tram liney. Okay. But only in certain, if the road was bad, the Fiesta did like to follow the road a little bit, so you had yeah. to really concentrate. This car just doesn't seem to be affected by anything in the road. It just seems to float over everything. And I just, yeah. I don't know how they've managed to do that. <laughs> it does pick up. The yeah. power's quite linear, it doesn't like fade off or anything. Yeah, no, it's, I think they've done very well with the engine, I must yeah. say. And yes, everyone watching is, can probably hear all of the fake noise. 
<laughs> yeah, so I actually don't think it looks that, it sounds that fake. Yeah, it, like, sounds, it sounds like it's definitely coming from the back. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've got the exhaust on it as well, yeah. so you're actually hearing both at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think there's going to be considerably less fuel in this when I'm <laughs> <laughs> Really 
not built for that, it's built for driving. Exactly, yeah, like, it's, it's purely a driver focused toy. Cars nowadays are, are built to be normal. This is yeah. not built to be normal. <laughs> I, actually, to the point, it's so not normal, I don't know why they bother putting rear seats in it. Because yeah. unless you've got no legs and no head, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can fit in there. So, I mean, the back of this car is quite like, okay, there's the end. Like, yeah, it's so very the, flat. With the shape of the roof, they actually dropped the rear of the roof for the rally car okay. to pump more air into the spoiler that would be on the back. <clears throat> That's which cool. is why there is no headroom in the back. Which leads me on to my point as to why the hell did they bother with rear seats? Yeah, that's true actually. So yeah, that makes sense. Just one of those yeah. weird nuances. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that you've taken me to roads like this because this is where this car is. Yeah, at home. really rubbish back roads. Yeah, like really bumpy, full of traffic. Yep, dirt. I mean, traffic's not great. But <laughs> no, no, actually, <laughs> that's very, very true. We don't want to turn right here, ideally. Okay. And he has not gone right, so that's Splendid. great. Splendid. Give it a little bit of a send down here. And there we go. Do you see me go for the gear stick? Yeah, because I thought that was a red line. I looked and I was at five. Yeah. So if you want to, you've also got automatic rear flashing if you want to have a play. You've got to do it yourself, though, not you? Well, I think that. I actually don't like the rear flashing in here. Okay. Um, the, I think the rear flashing is a little bit slow. But maybe that's because I've just not used it enough. Or well, you're just such an epic driver. I don't think it's that. I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just. I think it's because I couldn't judge what it was doing, okay. and I haven't spent enough time with it on yeah. to get used to it. Um, I kind of turned it on and went, oh, I wish sure I like that, and then, <laughs> and then turned it straight off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all in all, though, epic car. Definitely a worthy upgrade from the 100%. already good Mark Eight Fiesta ST. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that I've finally been able to make a video and drive one of these things, so a massive thank you That's to right. yourself. Um, <laughs> I'm sure we'll probably catch up again soon. Of course. Later on down your journey of ownership, because I know you've got something planned. Yes, um, there's a lots planned. Lots planned. Although it's quite a complete package from a driver's perspective, mm. there is a lot that is not that great uh, and could be improved. Yeah. Um, because I've seen this car was built, was very much built for a purpose, yeah. which was to get into the rally car. Um, <laughs> Which so. is a bit of an awkward situation. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's pass yeah. on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like stuff like the stereo, for example, in the circuit pack, you can't opt for the upgraded JBL. And okay. I am not a fan of how the stock system sounds. I think it's not great. So um, that's just an example of one of the yeah. things that I think could be upgraded. Mm. I mean, all in all, though, epic car. Um, if you want to see more content on this, then head over to Johnny's channel, of course. Um, <laughs> plenty of stuff to be coming soon for that. But I think that's going to wrap things up for my first drive, finally, of the GR Yaris. I loved it overall. Not perfect, but what car is? Um, I think that it, yeah, it's a bit of a game changer for the hot hatch market. And it's not the quickest, most powerful or anything, but still it, it seems to be getting some really, really good reviews. Um, so anyway. We're rambling on, I think it's quite a long video. I've just been getting carried away driving this thing. So we'll wrap things up there. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures.